Right, hi guys, and welcome back to Crazy Bake. Day three of the new year. So I remember that this time because we've just already done one day and it went wrong. <laughs> Couldn't get my words out. So yeah, we are doing a leftover meat and vegetable pie. <clears throat> got there. So basically, yeah, we got there in the end. This is the second take of the. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, that's what we're doing. A meat pie from leftovers from the new year. Um, they'll still be alright. Um, we do the whole look, smell and taste. So if it smells funky or it looks mouldy or it t don't taste good, then basically just throw it away. Um, all to do with stock it's food like, waste. It's like only like a day or yeah. so for us. That yeah. So it's not really bad. Um, all right, actually, we'll let it last. All your meat and veg will last about four days in the fridge. After that, then throw it. But yeah, no, we're going to be doing that. We did set this video up this morning to do. Thought we'd have enough time to do it this, in the morning, but my nephew turned up, so we looked after my nephew, watched some TV with him. Um, they went home probably about an hour ago. Mm -hmm. So we've been tidying, getting bits ready and sorting bits out for the video. So yeah, it's a late one today. It's uh, about half past five in the evening. So yeah, all this... Well, so yeah. Uh, you're nearly yeah. half past five. Uh, for it, not... Mm, yeah, it's 25 past. Not an hour ago oh. even, yeah. they went. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, so we've got all the ingredients set up. Um, also, just, set, just to let you know... Turn the little bell notification on where it says subscribed um, just so you know if you get notified whenever we upload a video rather than say oh, we're going to do a video on this day and then we don't. But yeah, let's crack on. I've got my nice camera woman. So yeah. Bosh. Bosh. Right, so. Where are we then? We're here at the minute. <clears throat> Let me bring it over. <laughs> Let me bring it over. So this is really nice soft butter now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really nice soft butter now. So you have a bit of butter, one garlic clove, one small onion, and in here, this is all your leftovers from basically the new year. You've got all your veg in there, there's chicken, there's lamb, there's gammon, and whatever you got, you just throw it in the saucepan. We have a nice heat teaspoon. Oh, I'll bet you that is that is, but you can use a nice heat teaspoon of um, flour. 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 I've got corn flour. We only use flour just to show because not everyone might not have corn flour. And in here is three stock cubes. There's Chicken, vegetable, beef. Oh, that's a mixture. Yeah, but I like the taste of it. Uh, they're just bog standard, you're cheap. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it really don't matter. Just to show you know, we're not using big brands. Look at that. Just your bog standard OXO cubes. They taste just as good as your big brands. So, for this bit, you'll need... Some wood. 450 mil. Bosh. Bosh. And give it a stir. Obviously to mix in the cubes, make sure they dissolve properly. The flour, you will mix that later on mm -hmm. um, into a nice little paste. It's a thickening agent. It will make your gravy for your sauce nice and thick. Nearly dissolve, it may take a little time to dissolve, but we're getting there. <laughs> you can add salt and pepper. For me, I'll just say um, pepper, because it's going to be quite salty anyway, especially with the gammon in there. And then what the salt that's in um, your oxo cubes. I know this isn't baking, but it's cooking. That's what we're going to try and add to this YouTube channel this year. A bit of cook. 
cooking as well as baking. Especially now I've got my outdoor cooking pit. <laughs> and we're also, yeah. already, I've already been in the garden planting up my tomatoes, my chilies. Um, so we're actually going to start introducing our garden to the videos um, and using the produce that we actually grow throughout the year as well. With our knowledge of cooking too. So yeah, so we're gonna that's gonna just wait now until the Yep, that's over there. The hob. We're gonna go uh, over to the hob. Oh, we're gonna go to the hob. Yeah. And we're just gonna caramelise our onion and garlic down a little bit for the next part. Looks a lot darker on the ca on camera. Yes. So there we go. Definitely looks that dark. It doesn't look yeah. that dark looking yeah, at it. Yeah, don't look dark. Must, unless it's through the light. I don't know, but might be through the light. Yeah. It is. Um. Just brown. So, and then we go back to this. Back on the gas. And you're going to add your onions in Ooh. and your garlic. Mm. You could drain your fat if you wanted to. Oh, you can do, but that's where all the flavour is. So, you know, you wouldn't get a top chef doing that. They throw everything in. You know, people people cut out straight in with your stock. You need a bit of that for you. No, I use water for that. Uh. <laughs> um, oh, your, your, your top chefs. You know, normal people cut all the seeds out of their sweet peppers and chilies. No, throw it in, they say. Adds flavour. So now you just want to bring this to the boil, really. Um, not cook it too much, because obviously it's going to go into the oven with your, your pastry. I mean, you could... Um, It's lost for words today. No, but Bertie's gassy. Um, you could make your pastry, but we just brought shop brought pastry. <laughs> just rolled because it was on offer at the time. So yeah. Yeah, but is that the puff one? Puff pastry. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't bother making puff pastry. No, we got well. We've got a cheap recipe. Yeah. We've got a cheap. You can recipe. make rough puff pastry. Yeah. There is actually Not like proper puff pastry, but different ways to make puff. There's probably mm, three recipes, two, three recipes I know did do, <laughs> but proper but, way it just takes so long. Just going to bring that to the boil. And what are we doing? Um, are we going to look at the pan? Yeah, I'm just going to get some water in here quickly. So about, mm. And here's what you do, you mix your flour with a bit of water, need a little bit more, probably about tea, two teaspoons of... I don't want to look at my flour, I cleaned it. <laughs> right, our chance to clean anything at the minute, <laughs> apart from do bits in the kitchen. That is a bit lumpy but you just keep stirring and stirring and stirring. Oh. Spray it over mum. Yeah. But the longer you stir, the lumps come out. And that's just going to basically thicken up and make a nice gravy. We're just going to watch the pan for a bit. Yeah. You know, it's a bit like watching paint dry, but <laughs> um, this don't take that long, actually. Like I say, you don't want to overboil it too much because everything's already cooked and then you're going to put it in the oven anyway to cook the pastry off it didn't go down on your front I'm straight everywhere with this oh dear hopefully <laughs> you can't hear the dog barking to come back in <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah. Right, so it's just just bubbling, and now this is where you uh, you slurry. Yeah. You pour all that in. <laughs> and give it a stir, and it should start to thicken. If not, then you just add a little bit more flour. Yeah. Or you can use corn flour. Um, oh yeah, corn flour. But we just done it to show that. We just done this to show that it does work with flour. <laughs> we have got corn flour. Corn flour, you only need a little bit though, because it does thicken real quick. Yes. Yeah, you will need probably a little bit more with flour. Yeah. Well, that's nice and thick there. That is done for my liking. You do it to how you like it. And but what a good way wasting. Why waste it when you can turn it into a lovely pie? So that will go into a dish. That will go into a dish. And then your um, roll out your pastry. Uh, you can use cutters and put shapes on top of it if you want. Um, here's some actually that I've done from earlier. As you can see, it's nice and thick. Um, and yeah, if we go over this side. Yeah, if we go over this side. By magic. By magic. Da da. Like most celebrity chefs. Drum. Here we go, one we done earlier. <laughs> as magic it's, as it's that. It's a quick video, but it's a video. Yeah. And so once you rolled out your pastry, like you can get cutters. I've done like a little gingerbread man, some little round circles. There it is in there. You can turn it upside down, it's not going to fall out. Look mm. at that. Now, I would cut in it for you guys, but it's filming dinner. So what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of it. I'll add, oh, uh, can't get my words out. <laughs> I will add in a video clip of when I've done it with my dinner for you guys to see. So yeah, and then that one I'm just going to cool down and freeze. Yeah, we'll freeze, <laughs> freeze it and lob it in the freezer for a couple of months. It'll still be fine. <laughs> so yeah, let's turn the video around. Quick and simple. So yeah, a quick simple video. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed that video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the bell notification on. It should say subscribed. And you'll be able to turn that bell notification on. What? Um, so yeah. The mess in the background. I just got a tidy. So Apologise. Um, great. Hey, pick him up. Oh, he's in the kitchen then. Oh, it's all right. It doesn't matter. We're the only ones eating the food. Yeah. <laughs> well you ain't, you don't eat pie <laughs> Apart from me There's the doglet um, Yeah so Thumbs up, subscribe, share it to your friends and family And we will catch you guys Some point With a, another video yeah, And that is a lot of us today Why we um, Do a lot of things I mean we do do a lot of things We bulk do them and then freeze Oh yeah, because I've got loads of fun. We like different things. Yeah. So. We both eat different stuff. and Not always. Well, but... not always, but sometimes. I mean, we've got our dehydrator that we'd be probably showing you in videos doing. We do a lot of like American stuff, canning and prepping and like this. There's another well, video to go. Well, no, you can do it in can. Um, um, the hob. I, I do more dehydrating and... Yeah. Vacuum and... We're going to go because the dog just wants treats. Um, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now. Bye for now. Right, here you go, guys. I did say I'd show you when I eat it for dinner. There's my mashed potato. And there's the pie. Bosh. Probably can't see the steam coming off it, but it's piping hot, so I'm not even going to try it. Look at that. Bosh, you can just see the steam there. Piping hot. And there's only one thing. Nice lashings of gravy. There you go. See you next time.